We're speaking now with Andrea Alou, a professor at the University of Texas about metamaterials. Welcome, Andrea. Welcome, thank you. What are metamaterials and also why are they so important? Metamaterials are artificial materials, man-made, that have uh, unusual interactions with waves. So they started as uh, an interesting platform for optics and uh, now they encompass also uh, acoustics, uh, uh, radio waves, terahertz frequencies. Uh, my work focuses in the area of uh, um, electromagnetics and optics. Uh, so I work from radio waves to uh, light frequencies and we try to build uh, materials that have unusual responses that can go beyond what nature offers us. And what are some of the new applications? What are some of the exciting things on the horizons where metamaterials are going to be so important? Yeah, I've been working uh, for the last few years on a few applications, uh, especially in the context of nanophotonics. So coming up with uh, um, new devices that can uh, break, overcome some of the challenges of uh, uh, today's uh, optical devices, uh, shrink the size of uh, um, optical devices and uh, enhance light matter interactions uh, for sensing to build uh, uh, optical computing systems or optical processing systems that can uh, uh, process information at a much faster speed than we can today. What are some of the obstacles you're facing now as you try to achieve your goals in metamaterials? Yeah, to, uh, so far metamaterials have been based on a passive platform, uh, mostly affected by losses and uh, lack of reconfigurability. So one of the things we've been looking at uh, have been introducing time variations, tunability, and uh, even active devices that can overcome some of the cha these challenges and get better efficiencies and uh, stronger uh, light matter interactions. What do you get out of coming to uh, MRS 2016? How important is it for you to socialize with your colleagues and to share information? It must be, it must be very gratifying. Yes, it's a great uh, conference. I look forward to it uh, uh, every year. I try to go to both uh, fall and spring events. And uh, it's a great uh, event. Uh, a lot of uh, collaborators, uh, friends, uh, and uh, colleagues uh, Fantastic talks. Yeah, it's very enlightening. Talk about your talk. Give us a little preview of what you'll be speaking about. Yeah, we'll uh, give a general platform, uh, general uh, description or introduction to the field of metamaterials and uh, uh, plasmonics and uh, show how it can enable some very unusual responses. Uh, w I will present some work on uh, breaking reciprocity, time reversal symmetry, so create uh, isolators, compact isolators, uh, circulators for light in uh, devices that don't require magnetic bias and uh, some aspects of uh, cloaking technology we've been working in the last few years that uh, show how you can actually engineer uh, metamaterial layers that can suppress scattering from uh, um, passive objects. This must be a pretty exciting time to be in your field. It seems like technology is changing so fast. The need for your type of work is increasing in importance. It must be really thrilling for you to be in this field at this time. Yeah, definitely. And also, it's interesting how the field itself has been evolving over the years, following uh, all these advances, both in technology and in the understanding of these uh, uh, confined light matter interactions and uh, unusual phenomena. So the field itself of metamaterials has been evolving at a fast pace. And the need is not narrow. There's a wide need, whether it's medical or technology or industrial, there's a wide need for this type of research. That also must be very gratifying to know that these applications will be used in many fields. Correct, yes. We have started seeing, in fact, that the metamaterials from just being uh, an interesting scientific discovery have becoming, are becoming really uh, widespread also in terms of commercial applications and uh, uh, technology, many platforms. Very good. Andrea Alou, uh, University of Texas professor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.